Our youngest child has just, um, youngest daughter has just finished year 12 this year. That was a really tough gig for all yeah. of us. Um, not to mention the kinds of things that we've talked about in terms of anxiety and a mm. whole bunch of things. And I remember before being offered the job as a CEO of the Leitra Institute, um, having the conversation with her um, about how she felt about a kind of part-time father, if you like. And this is where it gets very kind of um, painful in a sense is that she said, Dad, I know that it's important for our people. And, you know, kids shouldn't have to decide no, on that. Yeah. So these are the sorts of things. And I've got a good mate who said, you know, every second generation of Aboriginal kids should just um, be able to be kids, mm. yeah. not be Aboriginal kids. Because mm. you're born into this world as an Aboriginal kid. Yeah. It's a political world from day one. Um, and however active you are, whether you're, you know, an activist or you're dealing with it in a whole range of other ways, there's no way, no escape for an Aboriginal kid.